Welcome back. This is lesson 10 of Machine Learning Zoom Camp session 2, and we will talk in this lesson about validating the model. Two lessons ago, we built our first baseline model using numerical features, five numerical features, and then we wrote a function for objectively measuring the quality of our model. So this was uh, RMS key, which is a root mean squared error. But the way we did it uh, is, uh, remember, the way we should do validation is we take uh, data set, we split it into three parts. So we have uh, a training data set, we have validation data set, and we have test data set. So what we did is we took the training data set, we trained our uh, linear regression model, and then we again applied it to our uh, training data set to calculate the root uh, mean squared error. Instead, what we should do instead of applying to training data, we should apply this to validation data, and then look at the root mean squared error on validation data. So let's do this. So first, we will get the code we wrote earlier. So we have this. Uh, so this is the code for training a model. So this line here, this is when we prepare our uh, feature matrix X. A lot of things uh, happening here. So let's write a special function for that. Uh, we will call it prepare x, which takes in a data frame. And then let me just copy it here and decompose it into multiple uh, things. So, so first of all, it creates a data frame with uh, numbers. So we can call it data frame num. And this should be not just the uh, training data frame or training data set or validation data set or the testing data set. It could be any data set. And the idea for this function is uh, we have the same way of preparing the data set regardless of uh, whether it's train validation or test. So we have the prepare x function that is doing that. And then we have the second step, uh, which is uh, the first is uh, selecting the numerical columns. Then the second step is filling uh, the missing values. And then the last step is uh, extracting the uh, feature matrix, the, the numpy array, and then returning it. So we have this function. So from one line, now we have five, but at least it's easier to understand what's going on. So let's use it for uh, training, uh, for training matrix. So we walk this prepare X on training data set. And then let's uh, train the model again. So we, uh, we prepare the matrix, we train the model. Then we again prepare the matrix, but this time we prepare our validation data set. So we use the same function, except that instead of using the training data set, we use the validation data set. And then finally, we do predictions. So we apply um, this uh, linear regression, the weights we have, but instead of applying them to the training data set, we apply them to the feature matrix uh, uh, computed from the validation data set. And this is our prediction. And then at the end, what we can do is we can uh, compute the root mean squared error of this prediction, which is uh, y validation, y prediction. And it gives us the root mean squared error. So if you see, this is pretty similar to, to what we had. So here we can see that there are two parts. So this is the training part. So here we only um, touch the the training data set and here this is the validation uh, part. So here we uh, prepare the validation data set in the same way as the training data set. Then we apply the model. Then we learned from the previous step. Then we compute the root mean squared error uh, for that model. OK, now we have a way of evaluating the quality of our model using root mean squared error. We can do this on the validation data set. And now we can work on improving the model. And this is what we will do next. 